When people think of how God speaks to us, some people think of you standing out alone in the desert and the clouds open up and the sun beams down on you and you hear a deep voice says, my son, my daughter, you have been faithful and I have a mission for you. If you, you know, that's not necessarily always how it goes. <laughs> so, so, we, so we're gonna, so we're gonna look, we're gonna look at what it, what it actually looks like when God talks to you, and what people mean when they talk about God talks to you. How many people have ever had God talk to them? Yes. Oh, okay. A lot of people. All right. Okay. So there's two extremes when it comes to that, as far as Christian thinking. So there's one camp that thinks God has given us the Bible. Once the Bible was complete, God no longer speaks to us. God no longer interacts. Everything we need to know is in the Bible, and he no longer, you know, speaks to us, no longer gives revelation, is no longer, you know, everything we need is in the Bible. And once he finished that, he was done. So that's one extreme. And then we have the other extreme. I'm sure one is running to someone Maybe if you've been in church a long time, you say, hey, how's your day going? They go, oh, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. You know, I woke up this morning and God woke me up. He told me to get up, so I got up. <laughs> he told me to eat uh, He told me to eat oatmeal this morning. I said, God, I was really looking forward to eating some cereal. He said, no, eat oatmeal. So I ate my oatmeal <laughs> and later on I noticed my milk was spoiled. Isn't God good? God just knew what I looked for. And so I started to go out of the house. And I, and I had my new shoes. I was looking forward to wearing them. And God said, where are your old shoes? And I said, God, these old shoes, I'm ready to throw them away. That's why I got these new shoes. He said, where are your old shoes? So I put on my old shoes. I stepped out the house. And a dog had been there. And there was poop. And I stepped on it. And I said, well, I don't have time to, to, to clean this off. And I said, wait, these are my old shoes. So I threw them away. And I put on my new shoes. And God good. And God good. So that's, so that's the other extreme. So, 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 my, so my view of, of a God speaking is somewhere in the middle. So he still speaks, communicates to us in different ways, but it's not on par with the revelation we get from the Bible. So the revelation in the Bible is still superior than what anything God would say to us today and if anything contradicts what's in the Bible then what's in the Bible is correct but but there is still he still communicates with us interacts with us after Adam fell he heard the sound of God walking in the garden the Bible never said that he saw God again what was the first thing that God said to Adam after the fall is where are you? There was a separation. Sin separated God from man. But Adam could still hear God. The first step to reestablishing our relationship with God is being able to hear him. Jesus says, he who has an ear, let him hear. Paul says that faith cometh from hearing, and hearing from the word of God. So faith cometh from hearing, and hearing from the word of God. So faith coming from hearing, salvation comes from faith. So salvation comes from hearing. John the Baptist was a forerunner of Christ. He was, he was called the voice that cries in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So he was the voice that prepared the way to Jesus. So hearing the voice precedes the encounter. So what's the most important commandment? In Mark 12, 29 through 31, Jesus said, it says, Jesus answered, the foremost is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, and you shall love your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So when Jesus was asked what's the greatest commandment, what did he start with? Jesus answered, the foremost is, hear, O Israel. So we need to prioritize hearing. The enemy fears those who can hear God directly because it's harder to deceive someone who's connected directly to the source. Hearing from God changes your religion into an encounter. 
Hearing from God changes your religion into a relationship. <coughs> Hearing from God lets you know that you're on the right path. It calibrates your GPS to navigate you through life. So your biggest desire, your most constant prayer, should be to hear from God. <laughs>